hour one. Dag nabbit. It's almost over the first hour, but uh, guess what? It's a bonus now, because we got two hours. And uh, when you have two hours on a woman Wednesday, and you get a powerhouse mail, you gotta fit them in. And uh, one of our good friends, regular contributors to uh, Liquid Lunch, uh, joins us today from the UK. He's in London, it's Jeff Webb. He's the founder of Varsity Brands, and he's the president of the New American Populist with a mission to form a, a practical coalition to turn 31 seats in Congress um, that were won by Democrats in the midterm elections back to their hometown Republicans. And uh, Jeff, thanks for joining us from London. Uh, Midge is joining us today, filling in for Frank. So if you hear a woman's voice, don't think Frank's identifying otherwise than himself. <laughs> okay, no problem. So, good, to, good to talk to you, John. Jeff, you're the best. Um, you know a heck of a lot about the U.S. economy. You're an entrepreneur. You built Varsity Brands uh, from from the ground up, from nothing to a multi-billion-dollar business. You've employed thousands and thousands of college students over the years, and you still do today. You have the most uh, the most impactful uh, competitions in the country. You know how things are formed. And uh, what's happening with the economy over there? What's the temperature of the people with this uh, Brexit stuff now that you're in the UK? Well, there, uh, there is, uh, there's a lot of tension here right now. We're kind of in almost new, uh, in new territory constitutionally. And um, you know, as you know, I believe you know the new uh, prime minister uh, late last night uh, actually, in effect. Uh, announced he was adjourning the, par the parliament. I've got a different word for it, but that's what they do. And uh, he did that in response to uh, the fact that the head of the Labor Party, Jeremy Corbyn, with some of the allies of the Labor Party, were actually meeting yesterday and trying to develop a strategy to introduce legislation and other kind of delaying tax tactics to make sure that, um, that Boris Johnson could not proceed with a kind of a clear break uh, for Brexit. And uh, it's um, it's high intrigue. We uh, were able to go to uh, a rally yesterday, the new Brexit Party, featuring Nigel Farage, of course. And uh, you know, the, the Brexit Party has only been around weeks, and they become the House of Parliament. And uh, they all, and then at this rally, they had brought in over 500 uh, individuals they had vetted who are preparing to run for office on behalf of the Brexit Party across the country. So it's uh, it's uh, there's high intrigue, and uh, both sides are trying to do everything they can uh, to posture to make sure they get what they want. And the, the, the hope uh, from the Brexiteers, of course, is that uh, there's a clean break and there's no negotiating any kind of delayed uh, leave and all different kinds of provisions that really just gum things up. They want a clear break. Um, you know, they voted in 2016 with the largest vote in the history of the country uh, to leave the EU. And the people here, many of the people here feel like their, their government has uh, betrayed them and that they have not followed through on making that, that exit actually take place. Fantastic, Jeff. Thanks. Uh, I wanted to, uh, we want to get into Boris Johnson and uh, Mitch had a question for you on that. I was wondering, Jeff, what's sort of the sense on the streets uh, with people that you're speaking to? Do they like Boris Johnson? What's the general impression of him? Well, you know, the, the country, it's kind of like uh, it's kind of like our country. <laughs> Things are split pretty much right down the middle. But I think there's a, a, a feeling to give him a chance. He's certainly a dynamic personality, uh, much different than Theresa May, of course, who frankly, uh, maybe with the best of intentions, was a disaster. And did nothing but really divide the country even further. So I, I think there's an enthusiasm. He's got he's got kind of this bigger than life personality. Um, he's a smart guy, and uh, he's got a, he's got a tough uh, tough job because the country is so divided. But I, I think that if he can hold together the conservatives and then also really forge a, a partnership with Nigel Farage and the Pulitzer Party. Party. Go ahead, Jeff. Go ahead, Jeff. Yeah, um, we had a little clip of Boris there. I know you and the delegation with our good friend Martha Bonetta are over there. I couldn't think of a better ambassador for us to have over there. And uh, we want you to bring back all those insights. Jeff, uh, I do not clear the alcohol off the table for anyone on this show. 
but you, because I know how important that is to you. And uh, I want to thank you for your insights. I want to thank you for always making time for us on Liquid Lunch. Uh, you're a great friend of the show, and you get back safe. Okay, brother? Well, my pleasure. Always good to be with you and, and your audience, John. Thank you very much. And uh, for those of you at home who want to hear about all of our socialist uh, Democrats here, and he mentioned Theresa May. If you want to know about health care in uh, the U.K., just take a look at Theresa May's teeth. That should tell you a little something. But uh, we're going to take a quick break, and we'll be back right after this, where um, Kate Herman's going to be here, and she's going to try to fake it for us. <laughs> 